We are Dee and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Oh, oh yeah, seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. The 1st of October brought Pitbull to North Carolina, and Dee had purchased box tickets for my birthday. So we headed to Charlotte for the concert, but first we met up with some good friends for a fun night and a cold beer. Now it's concert time, and the best way to watch a concert at our age is with box tickets and a server. Thank you. Opening act was Iggy Azalea and then Pitbull. He performed an awesome concert with an awesome message. Well, if you know how to keep things on the low and not take pictures and video and put it up on social media, then guess what? You can meet me in the whole chair, mo chair. It's my motherfucking obligation that I have this conversation. And me being a first generation Cuban American, and knowing what my family went through to flee communism, for me to be the first born in the United States and take a breath in the United States of America. I take this opportunity to let y'all know, freedom ain't free. Freedom is hard. Freedom you fight for. Freedom you die for. Freedom you sacrifice for. Freedom you struggle for. Freedom you live for. But bottom line, freedom is motherfucking priceless. So we have the freedom to hit this stage and talk to y'all through music, because music, it doesn't divide, it unites everybody. It's a universal language. And like I tell everybody all the time, I believe in one race and one race only. It ain't the white race, it ain't the black race, it ain't the Hispanic race. Shit, it ain't even the NASCAR race at this point. It's the human race, folks. And when we figure out that we bleed the same blood, breathe the same air, that, my friend, is what we figure out. Freedom. Mid-October and we finally get a chance to travel out to Ochre Coast. We have been planning this trip since before we arrived in Newburn. We just could not get it scheduled, but finally the weather and time aligned. The weather was a little cool, but it was perfect for our ride out to Ocracoke. In the okra coat. This is, we haven't seen this in a while, which is actually nothing. I wasn't sure that we would see, lose sight of land, but we actually do out here. So we're enjoying it. Weather's good. No fish yet.
On our trip out, we passed one of the Ocracoke ferries just as we caught sight of land. We were glad the ferry was headed in the opposite direction because the entrance seems a little narrow if you have to share it with a large car ferry. We entered into the anchorage area of Silver Lake, which is very protected from the winds. It took a little time to find a spot to anchor where we were happy and settled, but we had a great view of the lighthouse from Journey, and it was time for cocktails before sunset at Ocracoke. The next day we set out to see the lighthouse and explore the little village. Everything we would need is in walking distance. And we would have loved to have gone the length of the island and see the pony pen, but that stretch is around 12 to 13 miles and it just didn't seem like it was worth renting a vehicle when desolate beaches could be reached with Shelby. The next day we took Shelby and headed south toward the Ocracoke Inlet and explored the beaches on the southern end. This was probably our favorite part of exploring Ocracoke, the unspoiled beaches. As we head back toward New Bern, we caught sight of several fishing vessels slowly cruising in the Pamlico Sound. We decided not to hurry back to the dock because we love being out at anchor and headed into the South River for a quiet night surrounded mostly by nature. We were joined by two other boats, but we each chose spots away from each other. The South River area has many anchorage choices and secluded spots. And one more spectacular sunset in the books. Now that we are back on the dock, it's finally time for the big galley project. First, he put out the old rusted oven and stove, and next he removed the old countertops. All right, so I'm just gonna take a quick video of the kitchen. I'll try to find a picture with the oven. We should have gotten a picture before we pulled it out this morning. But getting ready to get new countertops. I'm super excited. And it's gonna be a completely solid surface. So the burners are gone. And uh, so you can kind of see it, it's like a gray, so it doesn't match kind of our theme in here. And we're just going to get a induction burner. And I'm not sure what we're doing with the oven since we have a microwave and an Instapot and a toaster oven. We may look for some type of refrigeration or freezer here if we can find it to fit this unique area. And then maybe a shelf or two. So you can see storage and all that. So I'm super excited that maybe in couple days this will all be updated coming soon now it was Jorge's turn he had already measured ordered cut and polished the countertop but it was time for the final fit and polish to install the new countertop Dee was a great assistant along with Jorge's granddaughter Isabella we met Jorge as he was doing major renovation on a boat across from us on the dock and we feel fortunate we found someone who knows and understands working on boats we're super excited about the finished look of our galley. HOA, where our marina is located, hosted a block party with food trucks and Dewey's to close out our October in New Bern. And oh yeah, the floodwaters attempted to come. Okay. I know, girls, you may not remember this, but you see where the water is. You probably don't remember how much was down there when you got on the boat before, but watch me get on and off the boat. Trip hazard for the wind. I think we were jumping, hoping for the second to the top, which I'm on, or the top step, and now we can just go right down with a sugar scoop and step across. The water is coming up. 
We headed out to Alexandria to move Jesse into a much bigger apartment, and since we were in eastern North Carolina, we just jumped on a train to Alexandria and back after the move. The trip was much easier than the move. We are back, and November brings Bill and Angie out to visit us in New Bern. It's a little cool, but we're able to see all the great spots around New Bern and some more spectacular sunsets. Living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Oh, we are living in the moment, life for enjoyment. 